Good morning, everybody. I'm Fabio Zorati, a professor of international economics at the Politecnico di Milano and MIP, its School of Management. Uh, it's quite a while I haven't been uh, uh, airing my ideas about this crisis, and I thought it would be a good thing to come back and perhaps exchange a few ideas with you all. Uh, this crisis is becoming incomprehensible uh, because on the one hand we have banks saying that they need liquidity. On the other hand we have analysts saying they do not need liquidity, they need capital. Uh, and uh, very few people are talking about other instruments of monetary policy to stimulate the economy, whereas the attention of the public is entirely on banks, on monetary policy. Let's try and uh, see what the situation is likely to be in the next few months. Now we know that economies can be stimulated through monetary policy, that is, central banks shoving liquidity into the system or through fiscal policy that is through government stimulating the economy through aggregate demand now banks is all we've had over the last two, two to three years in europe especially the central bank has been introducing a tremendous amount of liquidity in the system Banks look incredibly happy. Uh, they are buying government bonds with some of that liquidity, but this liquidity is not being used for loans to industries. Actual real activity is not picking up. Italy is in a recession, and it will be for at least two years. Spain in a, is in a recession. Greek, Greece is in hell and most of Europe is moving towards a recession even though milder than the ones we have been talking about in these particular countries. Now what's happening therefore is that on the one hand the European Central Bank is showing liquidity into the market. Banks are hoarding that liquidity. Firms don't see credit increasing unemployment is rising this is a tremendous situation this is a terrible situation it is incredible that we keep talking about government debts and we do nothing to stimulate demand instead to be sure what mr draghi and the european central bank governing council are doing is absolutely appropriate I have no doubt that we should be thankful for this type of policy that they are adopting. Uh, on the other hand, we should not be happy at all with the decisions of the European governments to cut spending systematically. Let me give you uh, a couple of figures. Italy has a 120% ratio of debt over GDP. If, as it was said at the last uh, uh, meeting, of the European heads of state and government, we should reduce this ratio to 60% of GDP by 2020. That means that Italy should uh, reduce its debt by, say, roughly 600, 700 billion euro. That implies about 100 billion a year between now and the year 2020. That is ridiculous. That would be impossible. That would push unemployment to unheard of uh, levels that would push the country on the verge of civil war. That cannot be done unless Unless the incredible amount of liquidity that is being accumulated, hoarded, we say, by commercial banks is kept ready for the day when governments will start announcing dismission of publicly owned firms and industries. For instance, healthcare. We in Europe have a, a public system of healthcare. Uh, it is one uh, very expensive activity for the government. Of course, healthcare, uh, in a, in an, uh, w when you have an aging population, becomes more and more expensive, and therefore what 
is going to happen is that this type of expenditure is going to increase. Governments will try sooner or later and get rid of this activity. Mm. In common parlance, we say that this is the end of the welfare state. Well, I believe that if one looks at things this way, then one understands why banks are hoarding the liquidity that the central bank is throwing at them as ridiculously low interest rates. They are hoarding the liquidity, waiting for the day when healthcare systems, when uh, public utilities, when profitable state-owned activities will be put on the market and privatized. Uh, it is only a hypothesis, of course, this is not exactly the truth, but it is the only explanation I can come up with uh, which squares at the same time why banks are hoarding so much liquidity, why governments have decided to reduce the ratio of debt to, from uh, wherever it is now to about 60%. I'll come back on this. We will discuss it more. Please do write if you feel like it. Let me remind you www.scenarieconomici.com.